is Tiara White likes to try. When it comes to killing catfish, William Anadu is one of the best. So good, his Catfish Killers program took home the top prize from the New Zealand Biosecurity Awards. So the initiative is started between the Bay of Plenty Regional Council and the Te Arawa Lakes Trust. We work real closely with um, the biosecurity team with, uh, in the Regional Council. And from there I go out and I've found a whole bunch of volunteers. The project aims to stop the spread of catfish in Rotorua's lakes with the ambitious goal of eventually eliminating the pest altogether. This year, 16 schools and one early childhood centre have offered their help, as have some at-risk youths. At the start, they're kind of a bit standoffish, but they um, kind of change their ways once they see, actually see catfish and how, how bad they can actually be. Working alongside the volunteers is the Biosecurity Division of the Regional Council, who bring the latest in scientific advancements to the fight. In the future we'll be looking towards uh, using environmental DNA, that's a water monitoring technique that picks up um, any species that are in the water and we'll be rolling that out across the wider uh, Rotorua lakes. We've also asked uh, science providers to uh, look into what can be done with a, in the form of a biocontrol, so they'll be coming back with a feasibility report uh, early next year. Uh, and then we'll also be using some of the tools we've developed in the past, um, the pheromone bait, which is good for attracting uh, catfish into the nets and we'll be refining that further. What's being learnt about catfish here in Rotorua is making a valuable contribution to the global knowledge of the species. There's not much known about them globally. Uh, in some countries they're obviously a native, so in the past there hasn't been much research done on catfish. So um, with this incursion that happened in uh, 2016, it's allowed us to really um, create quite a lot of knowledge uh, and also summarise everything that's going on uh, across the world with this species. And they're making some very real progress. Initially in the first, uh, first few, few years we've seen quite a, um, a steep increase in catfish and then from our last season we've actually seen about an 18% decrease uh, and this was with quite a lot more netting undertaken. So we'll be looking to see what the numbers are coming in from this summer and then we'll be able to see if that's, um, that's going to keep decreasing. At the moment with the tools that we have we're, we're pretty confident we can suppress them to within um, Rotuidi and Rotorua but we obviously need the, the public's help with that to stop the spread going to further lakes. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of technology coming on uh, that's really developing quite quickly, so in the long term uh, we could be optimistic about um, suppressing them or eradicating them, but um, with the current tools we have, um, we're just looking to contain them within Rotorua and Rotuidi. And what's the most important thing the public can do? Um, the public can just check all their gear going into and out of every waterway uh, in, the, in the region, so if you're using a boat and a trailer, make sure you're not carting any weed or any uh, small juvenile pest fish between um, between lakes. As for where the initiative is heading, well, the catfish killers have a secret weapon up their sleeve. Next year we're going to have a couple of aged care groups involved in our program and another five schools coming on. We're letting everybody get involved, I suppose. <laughs> Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.